Hi, I'm QDC. What we're build today is Dragon's Ertsatz M10. This is going to be the final part, the third and final part of my entire Diorama series called uh, Battle of the Bulge Operation Griffin. To recap about this, my model project, back in World War II during the Battle of the Bulge, Hitler had an audacious plan. He wanted to gain key positions in the Ardennes area and he wanted to have his own soldiers dressed up as Allied soldiers wearing their own uniforms and also using Allied equipment such as tanks to gain those uh, key positions. But Hitler had a problem. He didn't have all the Allied equipment that he needed to uh, pull off his plan so he had to compromise. What he done was he used his own tanks, Panther tanks, and actually tried to make it look like into an Allied tank. So this is uh, Hitler's um, uh, scheme to make a Panther tank look like an M10 tank destroyer. So let's go ahead and start building this kit right now. Let's go take a look inside this box. We have the instruction sheet. Apart from the turret. Magic tracks. The turret itself. Parts for the rear hull. More parts for the turret. Upper hull. Lower hull. Air intake grill. And the wheels. I want to talk to you more about using photo etch parts. Photo etch parts uh, is not really that much more harder than using uh, sprues. So what you see right here is a photo etch fret. And to remove the part that you want, all you have to do, just like using a sprue, is to move, remove the notches with a tool. I'm just using a um, knife right here. And just take it out.
It's time for me to build the magic tracks. What you see right here are the magic tracks and they're made up of individual links. And here's one set of tracks that I'm working on right now. In order for you to build magic tracks, um, you need a straight edge like I have right here. You don't have to use it, but I'm using one. And what you do is you carefully put each individual link together, which are about 160 of them. And after you assemble each link together, then you glue each individual link, let it set, and then wrap it around the wheels. I want to talk to you about an important part of this model kit. What I'm pointing at is the facade that makes this tank into an Earthsets tank. This facade is um, really nice and highly detailed. Of course it's very plain, but what I like about it is the best, and of course you can see it, is that it's razor thin, which is uh, historically accurate because this was uh, only act as a facade to try to disguise this Panther tank and make it look like a um, an American tank. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to remove the sprue and then put it on top of this turret and it's a good representation of the real thing. The tracks are dry so I'm going to remove them from the from the model. And the reason I'm doing that is because it makes it easier for me to paint both the tracks and also inside the wheel well. All right, so we built the model kit, and now it's time for me to show you what I think about this kit so far. Take a look. This is the computer model kit before painting, and Dragon has made a very good product. This model really does look like the Earthsets tank from World War II, with great photo etch parts a great facade for the turret, nice side skirts, and magic tracks. And the front hull looks really realistic to the actual tank itself. There are a lot of small parts in this model kit that makes this um, tank look outstanding. And I highly recommend this model kit. Now that being said, I do not recommend this model kit for the beginner because there are a lot of small parts. Now for those of you who are beginners and who really want to build this model kit, then I will recommend that you should have a lot of patience. It's time for me to paint the model. It's time for me to paint the model. I already gave my entire model a coat of black primer and now I'm using an airbrush to give the entire model a coat of the base color but I'm going to leave the edges black to give it more interest. Now I'm going 
give some highlights by spraying the entire model with a lighter color of the base color. I'm going to protect my model by giving the entire tank a coat of future flow wax. I'm going to give some pin washes. I'm going to add some chip effects. I'm going to give my entire model some dust effects. I'm going to give my entire model a tint of buff color. I'm going to add mud and snow effects. What you see right here is a watered tile grout, and right over here is a joint compound in the in the powdered form. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the mud onto the tracks and onto the wheels, and then right after that I'm going to sprinkle on the uh, joint compound onto the wheels and tracks to simulate snow. Okay, so we built the model kit, we painted it, we weathered it, and we made even a diorama out of it. So now it's time for me to show you the entire model diorama. Take a look. This is the completed model diorama, and I've done a very good job doing this uh, diorama. It really does tell the story about the Battle of the Bulge. Operation Griffin and the best part of course is the tank itself the tank is very well made by Dragon highly detailed with great magic tracks and all the small parts that make that make up this model kit really does stand out and I also like my own paint job and weathering I like the way I've done the um, the painting of the olive drab and adding the snow effects it really does look nice and the figures that are painted really does give uh, the story about Hitler's idea about infiltrating key positions in the Ardennes by disguising his own um, soldiers to look like allied soldiers if you're interested in knowing more about how I built the base and also the figures I've made two videos of it parts one and part two here on YouTube and you're more than welcome to see it if you want. That completes this project. What you're about to see next is a video slideshow of the entire model project. But before I go, as always, just because I put this video here on YouTube 
It doesn't make me a model kit expert. I am not an expert. I'm just a regular guy just like you. I hope this video encourages you to build a model kit of your own. Uh, there is a model tank, a model plane, a model train, or even an automobile. It doesn't matter. In the end, it's all about having fun. I'm QDC. Thanks for watching and always please have a great day.